this is Steve Flutter of GE. I understand you run e Eco Imaginations. Is that it? That's my great privilege. Wow. That's what an exciting opportunity to be in this space at this time. Yeah, it sure is. Tell me a little bit about what your vision is for Eco Imagination. It's about creating um, a profitable value chain in solving environmental challenges. Right. Profitable for us, profitable for our customers, and profitable for individual consumers. So what do you bring? What does GE bring to make this eco-imagination? Is it just money? Well, actually, well, first let's start with money because that's, that's important. Um, right. You know, there's, uh, there, this, is, this is so much more than just sort of a qualitative commitment to sort of green the company. Um, we felt that we had to have some hard metrics around it. Mm -hmm. And so at the outset, we, we actually did some benchmarking of how much uh, do, did we historically invest in driving energy efficiency and cleaner technologies and things like that. And uh, when we came up with the number, we said, let's double it. Um, wow. So that was a commitment that we made at the outset. And um, that's got to be a pretty big number. It's huge. It, well, it was uh, last year, it was one and a half billion dollars yes. invested in uh, clean technologies. Um, you know, you look at uh, the venture capital investing in clean technologies last year was five billion. So just to, 20%. Put, that, just to put that in perspective, yeah. uh, you know, we're, we're of that order of magnitude. And, um, and then the next thing that we did was in order to really drive uh, progress in a culture like GE's, we put a measurement on the output function, which is revenue or sales of these types of mm -hmm. products. And so at the outset five years ago, we said that by 2010, we would generate $20 billion of revenue which was about four times. That was times. the B word you used, 20 billion. Billion, yes, 20, okay. 20 billion dollars of revenue. Um, and so we basically started out with, with some very simple metrics that basically um, doubled our um, input uh, of you know, the innovation function, and then we multiplied by four the sales target that we expected to achieve by 2010. Uh, so last year, we actually hit that one and a half billion dollars um, in 2009, a year ahead of plan. Tremendous. And uh, we generated $18 billion in uh, sales, so we're well on the path to $20 billion this year. Uh, in fact, that $18 billion was up 6% uh, in a really tough year. Tremendous. Uh, the whole world. So many people are even trying to hang on, and you're growing at 6%. Exactly. And so the $18 billion also represents today about 20% of the industrial re revenue of GE. Isn't that remarkable? So it's a, huge, uh, it's a huge thing across the entire company. Well, this has been so successful. We said, well, what are we going to do for our second act? Well, our second act uh, is that we're going to double in the next five years everything that we've done in the first five years. Doubling it. Right. So we cumulatively invested $5 billion in um, clean tech R&D yes. in that first five-year period. We're going to invest an additional $10 billion in the next five years. Tremendous. We, we're also going to make the company, our own internal operations, uh, twice as energy efficient as we were at the outset of Eco Imagination. So we're trying to keep, we're trying to keep this simple concept of doubling across all of these metrics. While it's simple, which is important, it's also extremely impactful because we're talking numbers like $10 billion in innovation investment, uh, $20 billion in growing in sales on an annual basis. Right. And so it's a big deal.